All right, what's going on, guys? And welcome to this week's episode of In the Hot Scene. And of course, as always, I got a great show lined up for you guys. And with this week, I got a couple of things, you know, as always. And with that being said, a brand new guest joining me at this time. And would you guys like to introduce yourself? I'm Ronick. This is Crystal from the Most Extreme Wrestling. Check out our YouTube at Most Extreme Wrestling. All right, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the show, and of course, as always, we got a couple of things to get through, and I'm actually going to kick things off in a good way here, and uh, pretty much what got you into liking John Morrison, I'm going to kick it off for Crystal with this one. All right. I like John Morrison because I kind of think, okay, I know it's unlikely different from Michael, but I kind of think it's John Michael is gay. Like, Shawn Michael's gay. Shawn Michael's came in, you know, started, uh, Uh, is there anything else you would want to add to that before I, I give my thoughts on this? Yeah, so let's hear your thoughts on this. I would really love to hear this. Better be the John Morris stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually like him for a long time since, you know, with him and Eminem and all that. And even before then, a little bit uh, with Johnny Nitro. So, uh, you know, I've been, you know, I'm watching him for a long time. And, uh, you know, hopefully he'll uh, be able to get into the main event and, uh, you know, don't really like what he's doing too much. I like that they're actually trying to change his character little by little. Uh, definitely he needs to work on his mic, mic skills and, uh, you know, hopefully they'll change that up. And, you know, we'll see better things from Morrison, you know. I uh, would like him to hopefully win the Warrior Rumble and uh, see what he can do from there and uh, eventually become more champion. Whether he'll be a face or heel doesn't really matter. So it actually will be something new and something different. So uh, there are actually a couple of other matches I like from him. So, you know, I've been liking him since that, the Eminem days. So, and you know, I've been a fan of him as well for a long time. So that's pretty much it when it comes um, with my thoughts on that. All right. The next thing, I know you wanted to talk about this, and uh, moving on to the next topic, and uh, what are your thoughts on the WWE Network coming in 2012? What things you would like to see, and uh, what do you think we'll see coming out of that from next year? We're actually we're planning on doing a show, like on our channel, about okay. the Going into, like, great detail. Like, really great detail. We put a lot of thought into it, so okay. um, I would do, like, check that out later. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, well, probably in a day or so, but mm -hmm. basically our yeah. just thoughts about it is that I think it's a, that it's a good idea. Okay. And um, we just have some concerns about the, the way it could happen because yeah. I, I think it's a really good opportunity for growth for the company when it comes to the past year or so. It's like growth. I think it's a cool opportunity to, to put all of their old footage, especially from the company that you're dead now, because it doesn't Yeah, and hopefully with this, you know, it'll be free and hopefully everyone can get it. And then I'm sure it'll probably be something like 24-7, but where everyone else can see it, uh, whether what channel it's going to be at, I have no idea. So hopefully we'll get some more 
uh, you know, stuff on that in the near future. And I'm sure they'll probably have some, you know, pay-per-views, all these shows going on there. Uh, classic shows, so kind of like 24-7, but with a little bit more different stuff on there. So I'm actually looking really, really forward for it, so it should be definitely uh, something to look out for. And I'm actually uh, really excited, so uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, what else is to come when it does come out of that. So uh, I'll be looking forward for that as well. Uh, the next thing I got here, and now uh, with uh, WWE pay-per-views, and which ones would you uh, rather see uh, be taken away, and which ones would you like to see brought back from the past? What are your thoughts on that? Oh, are you talking more like physically like the types of pictures they have, or maybe like not having Yeah, like which pay-per-views... Um, would you like to see that's basically a gimmick pay-per-view? Would you like to see that taken away and have an older one or even a new one be replaced by it? Well, for me, I think that the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view kind of killed the whole like, point of having Hell in the Cell back mm -hmm. in the day. I remember when Triple H and Taxi Jack was having their big feud in 2000. They were like, it's going to be a Hell in the Cell match. I was like, oh my God. But yeah. now it's like, oh, Hell in the Cell they do look extremely into those. For me, the only really pay-per-view I would like to see come back would be King of the Ring. Okay. I would like to see some pay-per-views kind of disappear, but I understand that the business aspect of it, they keep getting money, they keep making the profits. So there's really no point in getting rid of some of the pay-per-views. And it's a lot of that's my main point, because it's a current process of getting rid of it. That's sort of my main idea. The pay-per-view yeah. names itself, I'm kind of okay with, because back in the day, you know, it wasn't PG, it was 14, and it was much more adult, more just craziness. Yeah. And the paper was really adult. Well, you know, okay. But you see, the paper <laughs> names were much crazier. You know, they were all demonic. They had, like, Unforgiven and No Mercy, mm. Armageddon. Yeah. You had, like, the rip-off of the end by Jim Morrison playing where everybody's going to die. You got Black Glass, the big swinging guillotine, Judgment mm. Day. Even King of the Ring had an electric chair on the boat. It was crazy. Mm. Now it's yeah. PG. I'm I'm kind of okay with the name, but Money in the Bank, Hell in the Cell. I'm kind of like, eh, but mm -hmm. I'm okay Actually, with it. I think uh, Money in the Bank is probably the favorite piece that I like the most. Yeah. I, mean, I don't like, I complain about the way that the match is structured, like, all the time. I think the ladder is easy. You know, like, once you get rid of ladders. Yeah, but they used but, to do this on WrestleMania, and now it's completely... I know. I actually think... I don't know. I just sort of like the money. I think the more I consider the money in the bank one of the most important papers. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. of the fact that, you know, it's significant for like a whole big long time. Yeah, it's almost match. more significant than the Royal Rumble match. I agree. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, even though I, even though I would, I don't know exactly what I'd have to do different. I think that's the ladder. Like, it just kills me. It's just too much, almost. It's like, the I can't, I can't climb the ladder. <laughs> I'm like this big burly guy and I'm super strong, but I just can't do it. Well, it that's just me. that's just the nature of a, oh, um, of a ladder match. I but all right, Fort Minor Project, what are your thoughts? All right, yeah, just uh, like I mentioned before in my last video with the Hell in the Cell predictions, and I did my own pay per view list, you know, just getting rid of some of the pay per views like Hell in the Cell and TLC. I think, you know, they should get rid of and bring back King of the Ring. And I keep it kind of like they had it last time and, uh, you know, had some more build up into the pay per views, which would, you know, do a lot more better. And uh, so we have, uh, so it's not, you know, uh, I guess kind of way clusterfuck with the build up. So. Uh, you know, definitely bring back King of the Ring and, uh, you know, Money in the Bank I like and, uh, you know, to me it's been more memorable as of late, so I would keep that and uh, I actually look forward for it each and every year, so that's pretty much my thoughts on it, so uh, that's it when it comes to that and one of the next things uh, getting into match types and uh, what are your favorite match types or match type in your opinion? Okay, um, we have um, my favorite match type, of course, I love high flying matches, but I really, I don't like the, the matches where there's like two high flyers, sometimes it's a little for me, people are just kind of flying around everywhere, you can't tell what's going on. Kind of like Lucha style matches. Like Lucha style matches, I enjoy, but like I can't watch it too long. I can't watch too many of those, and then it just gets like, well, you know, it Almost becomes, not becomes, it becomes unspecial, you know? Right. Um, but I like matches where there's like one high flyer, and then one guy that's not so high flyer. Um. Uh, but the matches that I really like, I'm 
want to say like I respect them, but like the ones that I can watch over and over that I enjoy watching are the ones that are like funny and kind of stupid. Like, I've mentioned this a lot. My, my all time favorite match is like Tom Michaels versus Sam, Trash Can, Little Fitness Poster. Like, this I, is love, ridiculous. I love the hair versus hair match. Like, any match, it's like, it's like like that where it's just like stupid it's funny and i can just kind of sit and laugh and laugh and like yeah. think it's like it's over the top ridiculous like that's actually the kind of match that i enjoy um, like for me because they're my favorite because i can watch them like that. for me the royal rumble match has always been special but i always love that type of thing mm. and you know hell in the cell but it kind of killed that one and i really like gauntlet matches you don't really do that you have one guy versus mm. one guy and then you just keep beating guy after guy, but, you know, it's one at a time until it finally beats everybody. But they really haven't done a gauntlet match, I don't think, in a long time. Mm-hmm. Those are really the only matches that I really think are really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I will say the matches that, like, I, I really can, I can get into most matches. The only matches that I don't like are just the big guy guy versus the big guy guy. I just, I mean, I know it's like old school and the style and mm-hmm. a lot of people like it. I just don't. Yeah. So. Yeah, and with my thoughts on that, there are actually a couple of matches I like. I know the Gauntlet matches are pretty rare and they happen once in a while. I think we have one this year, early in the year. I don't remember um, when it was. I'm pretty sure we have one though. Uh, the Boy Rumble match types, I definitely like that. No Holds Barred, you know, that adds a lot too as well. Uh, depending on, you know, who's in the feud and uh, what's going on too. So I, I enjoy that. Uh, Hell in the Cell, you know, I think that's good for once in a while. Uh, you know, with the pay-per-view, it kind of ruins it. Uh, I agree with you on that. Steel Cage, I like that. You know, they bring that at least once in a while. And that, you know, you used to, uh, you know, end feuds too there as well. And, uh, you know, I think that's a good one as well. Um, but, yeah, those are just some of the match types I like. And, uh, you know, with that being said, that's pretty much it with all the topics I have here. Is there anything else you want to get your final thoughts or anything else you want to talk about before we end the show? Oh, I wanted to let everybody know that, and I think it's not not this next SmackDown, but it's the next SmackDown. Okay. It's going to be October 11, 2011. It's going to be a big special show, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to be there right in the middle, oh, right awesome. there on TV side. We're can, excited. Yeah, and you can see mm-hmm. us with our John Ward side. It's going to be so great. Right oh, nice. I have a question for you, uh, for Meyer Brockett. You know, you asked us how we get into John Ward. Yeah, but that should be fun though. I'll definitely be looking out for you. So, is you guys going to be in the front row area? Is that right? Yeah, we're going to be four rows back. So, we'll okay. be right there, you know? Yeah. We can't put that the bottom line. Yeah, and they've been on sale for like two months. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So, hopefully, you guys have a good time and. Yeah, I'll definitely be on the lookout, and hopefully we'll see you guys there. And uh, that's pretty much it within the hot seat. Guys, thank you for coming on in. It's been a pleasure. And uh, with that being said, for those of you who are watching, definitely leave your thoughts, and uh, you know, feel free to leave a video spots on what we talked about. And as always, I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.